Alright guys, so this is my review of the Monoprice Maker Ultimate 3D Printer. Um, this is... I bought it yesterday, or rather, it showed up yesterday. And I'm just going to do a short review, it's not going to be long. I'm just going to show off a couple of the things that I've printed on it. And talk about how first day right out of the box went. So, a couple of disclaimers. I've never owned a 3D printer before. This is my very first one, and after a lot of research, this is the one I decided to go with. I got what's called an open box, which is basically a refurbished one, meaning that it was resent back out. So it did not come with any filament except for a very small amount of sample one. So you are going to have to buy that separately. However, besides that point, I have been very happy with what I've gotten so far. It comes pre-assembled, so there's no need to build anything. The only thing you do is on the back, where the filament sits here, you have to attach the filament strand. Now, as you can see, I, um, I'm not using that one anymore. Day one simplest thing to do was to print out a few of the pieces that people have made to help. I have here a filament basically holder. found that one on Thingiverse. It was awesome. Same thing here, an extended filament holder, so that way there's a little room. It doesn't, uh, doesn't get it stuck. It also makes it where I can put it right up against the wall without an issue. Over on this side, I printed out the tool holder. Uh, it turned out really well. I was happy with that. Uh, I printed out a couple of miniatures. So this is this is the first one. He's still a little hairy, he needs a little cleanup, but I'm very happy with how he turned out. Uh, let's see. Over here was my, uh, the very first one I printed out that was a success. I've already painted him, as you can see. He turned out fantastically. I'm super happy about how he looks. Again, he's a little hairy. I still have to figure out how to work with that, but that's a 3D printer thing in general. It has nothing to do with this one. And the quality of it, I can give you a better idea. One that I tried printing without supports. I'm not going to say that this failed because it didn't have supports. It failed because PSE&G cut my power about an hour and a half into a five-hour build. So these are the two pieces that um, got cut while they were doing maintenance, and then when it came back on, I was able to restart the projects, and they turned out fine. So these are the legs of basically the exact same guy you just saw, just unprinted. I don't know how well you can see the quality there, but, I mean, I was super impressed with how this came out. And then this is just another piece of the extended filament. Um, one thing I did do was I used a skirt instead of a brim for the first one. When doing minifigures, you really should use a brim instead of a skirt. Just I discovered that recently. Um, because otherwise, any supports that are supposed to touch the build plate aren't super secure especially if they're like little pieces that hang off on their own to catch stuff that it's out on the uh, far point. And uh, that's what you're seeing there. That's pieces of it have a actually like fell off of the one and when it was carried over to the other, it got accidentally welded to the first piece. So just make sure that you're using the proper support for it. 
Um, the other big thing that I found that I did that has been making it work wonderfully, um, just simple, yeah, glue stick. Just put it down on the pad where it's going to print, um, helps it stick to it right away with no problems. And then the other thing I've been doing is simply cleaning the build plate after every single use. Uh, just a simple Clorox wipe on it to clean off the old, and I've had absolutely no problems. If you look at the build plate, it looks nice, it looks clean. Um, I love the fact that it's an entire metal head. I think the next thing I'm going to print today is going to be a new fan for it, or, sorry, not a new fan, a new wrap for the head so that way the air hits more places at once. I'll let you know how that goes.